Hi, my name is Bill Lee. I'm the CTO of Dual Mint. I do apologize for not being able to communicate in Spanish, but I am very excited to be able to share our philosophy of real world asset with you through this training. Let's talk a little bit uh, about what real world asset or RWA is. Real world asset tokenization refers to the process of creating digital tokens that represents ownership of physical assets or traditional financial instruments using blockchain technology. These tokens uh, can then be traded, transferred, or managed on a blockchain platform, offering several advantages over traditional methods. What are some of the key takeaway points of real-world asset tokenization? Um, the first point might be representation of uh, the underlying uh, tangible and intangible assets. Assets such as real estates, commodities, art, and even intellectual property can be tokenized. Each token represents a share or fractional ownership of the assets. The second point might be uh, blockchain technology. Tokenization relies on blockchain technology, which provides a secure, transparent, and immutable ledger. This technology ensures that the ownership records are tempered proof and transactions are traceable. The third point might be smart contracts. What are smart contracts? Smart contracts are self-executing contracts with the terms of the agreement directly written into the code. They facilitate automated and efficient execution of transactions related to the tokenized assets. <clears throat> so why would you want to tokenize real world assets? What are some of the, 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 the benefits? Well, maybe point one is, <clears throat> excuse me, liquidity. Tokenization can enhance the liquidity of traditional illiquid asset. For example, real estate properties can be divide, divided into smaller, more affordable tokens, making it easier for investors to buy and sell fractions of the, of the property. Uh, another point might be fractional ownership. Um, as I just talked about, uh, each token can, can be divided into fractions. Tokenization allows for fractional ownership, enabling investors to, to purchase a portion of an asset rather than the whole asset. This lowers the barrier to entries and allow for broader range of investors um, to participate. Another point, transparency and security. Blockchain technology ensures transparency and security. Each transaction is recorded on the blockchain, providing a clear and audible trail. This reduces the re risk of fraud and enhances trust amounts in investors. Efficiency. The use of blockchain and smart contracts can streamline the process of buying, selling, and transferring assets. It reduces the needs for inter intermediaries, lowers transaction costs, and speeds up the settlement process. Accessibility. Tokenization can democratize access to investment opportunities. Investors, investors from around the world can easily buy and trade tokenized assets, broadening the market and increasing the opportunities for diversi diversification. And lastly, programmability. Tokens can be programmed with additional features such as automated, divided, uh, a dividend uh, distributed for voting rights for shareholders, enhancing the functionality and ability of the tokenized assets. What are some of the use cases for RWA? Um, for example, uh, you know, tokenizing real estate. Properties can be tokenized, uh, allowing investors to buy fractions of, of buildings or land. This can include a residential, commercial, and industrial real estates. Uh, tokenizing commodities. Assets like gold, silver, oil, and any other commodities can be tokenized, providing a, a digital representation um, of physical commodities. I think one of the use case that you'd be looking at is actually a, a local, local LATAM use case of tokenizing emeralds. Um, arts and collectibles. Expensive art pieces and collectibles can be tokenized, uh, enabling fractional ownership and investment. Financial instruments. Uh, this is a huge topic uh, in the uh, you know, RWA world. Bonds, stocks, and other financial instruments can be tokenized allowing for more efficient trading and, and management. 
companies like BlackRock is really leading the charge here. Um, they're doing a lot of companies are actually doing um, U.S. Treasuries, uh, providing yield um, on tokenized uh, U.S. Treasuries. So even in you know intangible products, <coughs> excuse me, can also be tokenized, such as um, you know IP rights, intellectual property. So patents, copyrights, and other forms of intellectual properties can also be tokenized, enabling the trading and, and, and different monetization of these assets. Now, some of the use case that, uh, you know, for, for Dual Mint, uh, if you, as you can see on the slide, um, we have a few ESG-related projects also coming along. Um, they're, they kind of fall under, um, you know, uh, project financing. Um, so eco, uh, eco wash or our energy efficient uh, washing machine um, uh, you know and 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 um, the uh, the uh, chargers the charging stations for for electric bikes so let's spend a little time talking a little bit about uh, dual mint who we are we are a project focused on tangible and intangible rwas the project was founded around two years ago during the NFT craze. We didn't really understand the digital JPEGs at the time, but we were very intrigued by the technology. So we wanted to use the technology to work with RWAs and identified a few areas that we felt needed improvements and focused on them. The first was the missing link between the blockchain record and the real world. It's great and all to have an immutable record that proves ownership, ownership and uniqueness, but how does that translate into the real world when something goes wrong? The second is how to effectively service real world assets, aside from putting some nice photos or 3D rendering on the marketplace. So we worked on a protocol that focuses on these two areas. What we are working on is our dual provenance protocol that combines technology with ecosystem partners with business processes to provide two-way linkage between the blockchain provenance and the real-world provenance. This provides better trust and security on the RWA that we work with. From day one, the project is an ecosystem partnership between best-of-breed products and services providers. We are working towards building a protocol that is able to certify the assets that are represented as tokens and ensure the legal provenance of each asset as they are traded from owner to owner. Some of our partners includes a legal document management framework, a passport grade anti-counterfeiting solution, a logistics solution provider, a data privacy provider, and a lifestyle and entertainment investment partner. We are continuing to recruit new ecosystem partners from different services angle and from different geographical locations so we can better support the tokenization of real world assets. The Dualmint project will have our own token, the Dual Token. It is an ecosystem uh, token for paying platform fees, exchange for different products and services on the Dualmint platform, etc. Aside from offering tokenization service, we also operate our own marketplace. It is served as the primary and secondary market for trading the asset that we help tokenize. We have invested a lot of time and resources designing and implementing our marketplace. Our smart contracts have been audited by Hacken, one of the leading auditing company in the industry. We've also designed the marketplace so that it has as much Web2 experience as possible, so a user doesn't need to know anything about Web3 and still can be able to navigate and use the system. The Dualmint Marketplace also has a unique royalty structure where every previous owner gets rewarded every time the asset is traded, not just the creator. Our Marketplace is currently EVM compatible and we are live on Ethereum and Polygon. We also have testnet, testnets available for anyone who wants to play with the system without commuting, committing uh, real money. We also have, will be deploying to other EVM compatible chains and also looking to expand into non-EVM ecosystems. Thank you for spending the time with me. Hopefully this serves as a good introduction of what we're trying to accomplish in 
the real world asset uh, area please do join us on our social platform on the social platform of your choice we do have a LATAM uh, specific um, uh, account on X where the content will be in Spanish. Thank you and have a nice day.